thing that a lot of people don't know how to use. Mm -hmm. Just to test if um, the grind is at the right level. This is the hopper. It goes here. <gasps> it's already chipped. What? It's chipped. It's Good evidence. It's good that you have the wrapping on the top. This is going to be the first espresso the new machine will ever produce. Learning from the internet, I'm going to dial in with hopefully just a few tries over the course of a few days. I used 18 gram beans to grind 18 gram of grind. Hopefully the grinder has a good behavior. I'm not sure how to temper with the original tools. Do I leave the dosing funnel on? The scale that I put on eventually fucked me up. All the Breville colored espresso machines get a guardrail. This resulted in the unbalance of my scale, which led to a constant inaccurate reading. My coffee came out with a very thin crema. By the law of dial-in, I gotta turn the dial to a finer grind next time. The coffee pad also tells some of the information. It's easy to tell my grind was way too coarse. I tried my friend's Breville Barista Pro to pull latte arts before, but I never managed to do it. My froth milk was always too thick and layered. With the original milk jar, I have to be very careful not to make these mistakes again. I'm making all the mistakes a newbie could have made to pull latte art. I didn't mix well, for some reason I mixed twice. My arm was way too high, so big bubbles were created. The cup position wasn't the greatest, it should return to standing slower. My milk flow wasn't stable and wasn't big enough. Most importantly, I didn't know what I was trying to pull before I started. The end result wasn't too bad though, I know this isn't a pattern yet, but this is better than I expected already. My steamed milk was not too bad. The coffee tasted bitter and terrible. I have to adjust my grind tomorrow and get better. If you're also a newbie, let's improve together. Bye bye!